Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to check out a super simple but really important sorting algorithm, bubble sort. It's one of those things that's easy to get once you see it in action. So let's jump right into it. First, let's quickly go over what bubble sort actually does. Bubble sort is one of the simplest sorting algorithms out there. It just compares neighboring elements and swaps them if they are in the wrong order. We keep doing this over and over until the whole list is sorted. In the average and worst cases, its time complexity is O n square. But if the list is already sorted, it can be as fast as O n with a small optimization. It's super easy to code, but not the best choice when you are dealing with a ton of data. All right, now let's actually see it in action with an example. So we have this array. Okay, we have condition action. First of all, we compare six and five. Six is greater than five. Yes. So we swap those elements. Next, it moves on to the next adjacent elements. That is six and three. Six is greater than three. Yes. The condition matches. We swap those elements and it does the same thing with then six and one. Six is greater than one. Condition matches. It swap those elements. Now comes the interesting case. That is six and eight. 6 is greater than 8? No, it doesn't. So it skips those elements. Okay. Then it keeps on repeating the same steps with 7 and 8, then 8 and 2, it swaps, then 8 and 4, it swaps. Now let's speed it up a little to finish sorting the rest of the array. Now we just keep repeating the same steps, comparing adjacent elements and swapping them if needed. After each full pass through the array, the largest unsorted number settles at its correct position at the end, as we see number 8. With every round, the number of comparisons gets smaller because the biggest elements are already sorted. You can see how the array is slowly getting more organized with each pass. We keep going until no more swaps are needed and that's when we know the list is completely sorted. Cool. Now let's take a quick look at the actual code for bubble sort. We start by getting the length of the array and store it in n. Then we run the loop i from 0 to n. Inside that there's another loop j that goes up to the last unsorted element. This shrinking range is important because after each pass the biggest elements are already sorted at the end. Inside the inner loop, we check if the current element is greater than the next one. If it is, we swap them. Once both the loops are done, the array is fully sorted and we return it. And that's pretty much everything we need to know about the bubble sort. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this breakdown easy and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more simpler and fun explanations. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep learning, keep coding.